Hi, everybody. This is news break for May 17th. 2018, and I am Alex Bennett, and if you hear some noise next door, it's because they're doing some construction or something, but we'll try and get the news through to you. There's a lot of it to get to today, so let's get going. State-owned Chinese construction companies called MCC Group said last Thursday to formalize plans to develop a theme park in Lido, Indonesia. What does this have to do with us? Hold on. The Trump Organization has existing licensing agreements for other components of the project, like a golf course, luxury hotel, residential development on these premises. What else does that have to do with us? Didn't the president just say he wanted to bail out the Chinese company ZTE? And isn't it interesting the Chinese government has invested $500 million into this Lido project? You be the judge. By the way, speaking of the president, he revealed his financial disclosure form and said that he reimbursed Michael Cohn for loans between 100000 and 250000 No word if some of that money was earmarked to pay off Stormy Daniels. While railing against California as a so-called sanctuary immigration state, President Donald Trump referred to some people who crossed the border as animals. Well, he was referring, to be honest with the president, he was referring to uh, uh, criminal groups that come across, but he still called them animals, and you are the president of the United States. You should choose your words wisely. Senate Intelligence Committee said Wednesday it believes the U.S. intelligence community assessment that Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential election to help President Donald Trump get elected was absolutely correct. Rex Tillerson, the former uh, Secretary of State guest speaker at the military, Virginia Military uh, Institute's commencement on Wednesday, said, As I reflect upon the state of our American democracy, I observe a growing crisis in ethics and integrity. If our leaders seek to conceal the truth, or we as a people become accepting of alternative realities, we are no longer grounded in facts and then, as American citizens, are on the pathway to relinquishing freedom. Senate Wednesday uh, voted to reinstate the Federal Communication Commission's net neutrality rules, passing a bill that has little chance of advancing to the uh, House, but offers net neutrality supporters and Democrats something to think about for the upcoming uh, fall midterm elections. Michigan State has agreed to pay, get this, a half a billion dollars to settle claims for more than 300 women and the girls who said they were assaulted by sports doctor Larry Nasser in the worst sex abuse case in the sports history. A half a billion dollars from a university. Wow. Those sports must make them a lot of money. Supporters of the nation's strictest abortion law are hoping a lawsuit filed against the Iowa measure will bring the issue back before the U.S. Supreme Court, but constitutional experts say that it's unlikely because of a legal maneuver by abortion rights groups. A woman purported to be the oldest living woman. How old do you think she is? 128, says she hasn't lived a single happy day in her life, and her longevity is a punishment. The Russian government claims Koku Istanbulova is the world's oldest person, but she has bluntly said her longevity was God's will and she did nothing to ever make it happen. And in entertainment news, executives of the Walt Disney Company have disclosed bringing animation, excuse me, can I try this over again? I screw up sometimes. Executives of the Walt Disney Company have discussed bringing animation guru John Lasseter. He's the guy that started Pixar, is the brains before the, behind the whole Pixar uh, uh, phenomenon. Uh, the, well, he was let go a while back because of aggressive hugging or something like that. Well, he's going to be brought back to the company, they believe, in a new role that will reduce his managerial power but allow him to re uh, retain his creative influence. Did I get that story out in one piece? Uh, probably not. Hey, we're glad to have John Lasseter back, a very talented man, and I think that uh, the claims against him were a little over overwrought. He liked to hug people, okay? Big fucking deal. Anyway, we got a picture for you today, as we do each and every day, and I... Uh, is this sexual harassment on the part of architecture? Uh, look closely. Yeah, yeah, see, see, see where that woman is sitting. Okay, 
All right. Is that interesting? I hope so. I like that picture. Thought you'd have fun with it. And checking last night's program, which happens to be the, uh, the Ramble, which goes on every night at 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, on, uh, we do it actually on YouTube. Uh, well, we had a little discussion. It was a new uh, caller, and his, his uh, name is Chris. And Chris uh, uh, has a very interesting background, and we were talking about that. And, well, this whole line of questioning and discussion came up. Listen. Uh, let me press the right button. The actors. Yeah, I love actors, love magicians. I love uh, athletes, ex-baseball players. Just do what you can for them. Okay, but yeah. let me ask you a question. Uh, it, yeah. you, it, now, I have found over the years of, of dealing with people in show business that mm -hmm. uh, some people in show business, by virtue of their profession, are crazier than others. <laughs> All right? And I always found that the craziest of all the performers that I've known are impersonators and ventriloquists. They're all nuts. Okay? Hmm. Uh, yeah. did, did you find that uh, there was any particular group, uh, just a, a subset that you worked with that were crazier than others? Um, I don't really work with them, but circus clowns seem to be <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Okay, and that was our uh, citizens panel for last night. A, a, a light moment from last night. Uh, by the way, if you want to find us, we're on at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time at the address you see below you, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. The program, if you go to that, you can actually tab the page and put it on your browser at all times, and there's a countdown to the next program, and when we go on the air, it starts playing. You can also see the program after the fact on Facebook. You can see it on YouTube. You can see it on uh, Vimeo. Uh, you can see it on live stream. You can see it on our Roku channel. We're everywhere, and of course, we're also on iTunes. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same bad channel.